Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making a beating heart out of gallium. So the main working feature of a heart is that it's able to create an electrical potential that moves across the heart cells and they all contract at the same time in order to change the shape of a heart and do some work like pump blood. But the question is, could we do that with something besides heart tissue, like a metal perhaps? When you put gallium in sulfuric acid, the sulfuric acid reacts with the surface of the gallium and creates gallium sulfate. And what's interesting about that is it changes the surface tension of the gallium itself. Because there's this thin outer layer, it changes the surface tension and makes it so it beads up more. So it creates more of a round surface. So basically you get more of a ball when you put gallium in sulfuric acid than when you just put it in regular water. So now that we have this sphere of gallium in there, the goal now is to make it pulsate like a beating heart. Make it contract and then relax, contract and then relax, just like a real beating heart. Well, we know that the gallium sulfate made it, made it contract together and get more elastic and form kind of like a sphere. So what if we could reverse that reaction? Well, one way to do that would be to stick iron in there. So when you stick iron in sulfuric acid, it reacts with the sulfuric acid and it provides electrons to the hydrogen ions in there and forms hydrogen gas. But what if we could steal those electrons instead of forming hydrogen gas and just apply it to the gallium sulfate and reverse that reaction and it could make it contract. But if we could get the wire at just the right height, we could get the wire to touch the gallium sulfate and reverse it to gallium. So now the bead will relax and move away from the iron. But now that it's away from the iron, it'll react more with the sulfuric acid and form that layer again, which will cause it to contract and bead up more. And it will rise again and touch the wire. And it should pulsate back and forth like that. Let's see if we can actually get it to work. Let's try it. Okay, first let's pour in our sulfuric acid. Okay, now let's put in our gallium. I'm gonna break a little bit off of this nice puddle I got here, put it in the sulfuric acid and see if we can actually get it to beat. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at it beat up. <laughs> Whoa, it's pulsating. Look at it go back and forth like that. So as soon as it touches that iron metal in there, it almost instantly reacts and then relaxes. And once it relaxes, it's not touching it anymore. So it can again react with the sulfuric acid and bead back up and get higher. And now that it's higher, it touches the iron again. So it's just pulsating back and forth. Okay, let's try it with a little bit bigger piece and see what it looks like. Mm. Look how cool that looks. It's totally beating. Let's see what this looks like in slow motion. Okay, this is a thousand frames per second. Thank you. 
Look how fun it is to watch this go from one side of the glass to the other. It's like those satisfying soft body illustrations. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you can be notified when my latest videos out. And check out theactionlab.com for the Action Lab subscription box. And check the link in my description to see the Action Lab experiment book called Extreme Garage Science. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.